Hey everyone, this is Sarah at Repeat Crafter Me, and I'm excited to show you this new yarn from Yarnspirations. It's called Bernat Alize Blanket Easy Yarn. And just like the other blanket yarn that they carry, it is big and soft and chunky and has this chenille like feel to it, except for this one is made up of loops. So you see this crochet hook? You don't need it. You're just gonna use your fingers to basically uh, knit um, all of your projects. And this is what it looks like. Move this for a second. Here's a strand of it. So as you can see, it's made up of all these loops. And today I'm gonna show you how to make this Bernat Alize Blanket Easy Bear Hat. And here's what the finished one is gonna look like. Super cute and soft and chunky and perfect for winter. Um, let me see, here's the pattern. You can find this on yarnspirations.com. And I'm going to use um, this pretty off-white color. And here's a strand of it. So to start, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my scissors and you're gonna wanna make a little tail for yourself. So you're gonna cut right in the middle of the loop. So right here. There's one, now I'm gonna cut in the middle of this loop. Okay, so now I have a nice little tail for myself. And to start the pattern, we're gonna count 24 loops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and it helps if you have all of your loops facing upward like this. And then I'm gonna take my tail, I'm gonna bring it around, and I'm gonna tie it right after my 24th loop. So this is my beginning round, and this is the um, this, your circle form for the hat. So I'm gonna tie this right here. Okay. And now all of the loops after this, this is my working strand. Okay, so I'm gonna take the first loop in my working strand and I, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it behind and through the first loop here in my round. And I'm gonna bring this over here. I'm gonna take the next loop in my working strand and through the back and up. And I'm gonna keep going all the way around I'm gonna keep going. You're gonna go through all 24 loops. I'm almost at the end and I know that because I've come back to my beginning loop here and my little tie and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a stitch marker and you can use a safety pin as well and I'm just going to put it here so I know I'm at the end of my or the beginning and the end of my next round Oops. Just gonna hook this on. There we go. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around again 
and you're actually gonna make a total of eight rounds just like this and as you can see let's see if we can see this hold on let me do a couple more loops it begins to look like the knit stitch how pretty is that this is really so easy uh, I posted on my blog uh, you can see some pictures of Zoe who's my four-year-old daughter she's been working with this yarn as well and she's really actually getting the hang of it she doesn't quite have the fine motor skills for a um, to to do to cr actually crochet and use a hook although we've been trying uh, but this yarn is so great uh, for kids and adults Okay, here we are back at the beginning because I see my stitch marker. Take that off, I'm gonna move it up to my next round. Hook it on. I'm gonna keep going around. that out it's working up so quickly so keep going you're gonna do eight rounds and then meet me back after you've completed eight rounds okay so here we are we've done eight rounds of this easy knit stitch just using our loops and I can count my V's so I know I have one two three four five six seven eight rounds and you can see the basic hat um, form is, is already taking shape and looking great. So I have my stitch marker here. So I know I'm at the beginning of my next round. And for the next three rounds, we're going to be doing decreases to shape the top of our hat. Now, to decrease, what we're going to do is you're going to take the first loop in, in your round. You're going to place it over top of the second loop and I'm just going to kind of hold them right there on my fingers and I'm going to take the first loop in my working strand and I'm going to go behind and through both of those loops to make one decrease. Now I'm going to do two normal stitches, two normal loop stitches and I'm going to do another decrease. So first loop over the top of the second loop, take the loop in my working strand through both, through the back and up, there's my decrease. Now two normal stitches and another decrease and we're going to continue this pattern till the end of this round. Here's my decrease. Now the two regular stitches. And now we're going to do the decrease. Okay, two regular stitches. And the decrease. Two regular stitches and a decrease and two regular stitches to end this round. And I'm going to move my stitch marker up. And 
And now for our next round, we're going to start again with a decrease. And now we're just going to do one regular stitch after that decrease. And we're going to go ahead and do another decrease. And then one regular stitch and another decrease. One regular stitch, another decrease, one regular stitch, decrease, regular stitch there, decrease, and then looks like this is our last stitch of the round and it's a regular one. Okay, I'm moving my stitch marker up. For this last round, we're gonna do all decreases. So decrease. Decrease. Decrease, decrease, another decrease, and it looks like one more, and I'm at the end of that round because I'm back at my stitch marker, and look at that. Look how beautiful the top of the hat looks. Now, to close the top, we're going to cut between the next two loops in my working strand to give us a tail. And I'm cutting there. And then I'm going to cut this off. Okay, so we have a tail. And I'm going to pull the strand between the loops of my remaining stitches to finish closing off the top. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove my stitch marker as well, or the safety pin, whatever you've used to mark your rounds. And one more. And the top is closed up. Let me take this off. Okay, and now you know what I'm gonna do? So I just pulled that tight. I'm gonna go in kind of randomly here through the middle with the strand. Let's see if I can pull it through the top. There we go. I'm going to turn it inside out and you're just going to kind of weave it in with your fingers and I'm going to go ahead and probably knot it right here so it doesn't come undone. And I'm just going to clip off and there we go. You can do the same for this. Look at that. You have your hat. Now, let's go ahead and work on the ears. For the bare ears, I already have one finished for you, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do the other one. So just like you are, let me find the end of my yarn here. Oh, where did I clip it off? Here we go. Okay, so here's my ear, and it's basically just kind of a mini version of this hat. So what we're gonna do is we're going to cut the loops like we did before so we have a long strand. I'm gonna cut three this time. Okay, so I have a long tail there. And now I'm gonna count six loops. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure all your loops are kind of facing upward. Then I'm going to tie the yarn right after my sixth loop. I need two hands to do this like this. Okay. So I kind of like to arrange it like a flower here so I can see my loops. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm gonna just going to pull the loop from the working strand behind and through the loops in my round. And you should have six of them. This is just like we started that hat. Oh, one last one, I believe. Wait, nope. Two. There we go. OK. 
Okay, we're gonna go around another time. You can use your stitch marker as needed or just count one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and make a decrease all the way around. So decrease three times, just as we made those decreases before. Okay, now I'm going to cut two loops. Oop, or how about one loop? And then I'm going to use this to go under the loops to close up the top. Pull it tight. Ta da! Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and sew the ear on with my fingers and my starting strand here, this kind of my loose end at the beginning of, that was on my beginning round of the ear. And I am just going to use my fingers to weave it in. And weave it under here, weave it through. Maybe back again just to make it extra secure. I'm gonna. And then, oh, look how cute that is. I'm gonna send it through the middle again so I can just knot it and weave it in on the inside. Look at that. Cute little bear. Now do the same thing with the other one on the other side. And ta-da! You have your super cute, easy knitted bear hat. Pattern is available for free on yarnspirations.com.